Alonso Lopez on pole position in the Moto2 class. Not quite able to make a fast start off the line. Fermin Aldeguer was able to take the whole shot and lead the early stage of this race. Lukas Tulovic able to make progress up into second spot, but Tulovic on the number three machine immediately started to fall backwards. It looked like it was going to be a Boscus Girl benefit at the front of this field. With Alonso Lopez able to retake the race lead. Pole setter opened up a little bit of a gap behind to his teammate Fermin Aldeguer. But in the early stage of the race, we did have a red flag and that changed everything. Red flag was for Leon Orgis's crash. And when we resumed, the riders had an opportunity to see who could make some improvements compared to the initial start. Fermin Aldeguer was the rider that made the biggest step forward. After struggling a little bit in the initial stages of the early race, he was able to move himself up into second position and then try and close up on his teammate Alonso Lopez. Tiger Hada was aggressive as usual at the start of this race, but the Japanese rider would eventually fall down the field and have a mechanical failure. He wasn't the only rider hitting trouble. Aldeguer was able to make his move on Taiga Hada, and from that point on, he was able to make sure he was able to close up on his teammate, Alonso Lopez. He'd take the race lead, and from that point on, he'd open up a gap that would eventually stretch out to well over two seconds. Cam Kuba was disappointed after crashing out of a potential top five finish. This was Taiga Hada retiring from the race and uh, a potential top five finish for him as well. But Fermin Aldeguer able to come away with 25 points once again in the Moto2 European Championship. Three wins out of three for the young Spaniard. So here's our results from the Moto2 European Championship race here in Valencia. The third race of the season, Fermin Aldeguer able to come away with his third race of victory of the season. And another 1-2 finish for the Boscus Girl team, with Adam Norridan able to claim his second podium of the season.